So this will be a quick demo showing advanced branding in Jazz. So what advanced branding is, is it allows you to specify certain elements on the UI of a Jazz uh, conference using a JSON file that you host on your own server. So this page explains a bit further the types of options that you can configure with this uh, JSON file. So you can change things like the background color and background image. There are a few other options here uh, as well, such as like video or virtual backgrounds. But at a basic level, how advanced branding works is the Jazz admin, whoever has access basically to the Jazz console, can specify an advanced branding URL. And then what Jazz will do is it will go ahead and uh, hit this URL when it creates a room and then retrieve a JSON file. What's key here is the uh, Jazz server will uh, pass a few parameters to the endpoint, including the app ID, so what Jazz application you're using, and also the Jazz room. So that gives you flexibility for each Jazz app or even each Jazz room, what type of uh, UI changes you want to make. And when it gets that, uh, the changes that you want to make from the JSON file, then it propagates that to any, to any video room that's launched for that particular app and for that particular room. So I've already done that here on the Jazz console. I've specified a room or a URL that Jazz should reach out to, and I'm hosting that locally on uh, my computer, but I'm exposing it to the internet via this service here. So here we're going to take a look at my code. So this is the Jazz iframe code here. You can see that uh, I'm connecting here to my application and then I'm actually going to change this. I'm going to make this connect to a room called test underscore a. And going back to my uh, URL that I've set up, I've set up the Jazz room that we'll be connecting to. But I've also set up here whenever Jazz, whenever it makes a request here uh, to the uh, to the uh, root endpoint, it's going to get uh, it's going to get a few uh, parameters. And what it's going to do with those parameters is it's going to extract the app name and then the room name. So when I specify the advanced branding URL, it's automatically going to send these two parameters here. Uh, app name and room name, and then I'm using those uh, the uh, the room name here to decide what JSON to return. So you can also use the app name if you have multiple apps, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm showing that it's possible just through the room name. And when we look at the room name, so if I get uh, test A as a room name, I'm going to be returning this particular JSON to Jazz, and it's going to be changing the the background color and then also the background image. And it's the same for all of these uh, JSONs. So for test A, test underscore A, we're going to see one set of changes, test underscore B, another set of changes, and then last set of changes for any other room. So we'll go ahead and demonstrate that. I'm going to go ahead and save my changes here. I'm going to restart the server so that we propagate those changes. So here's the first room, test underscore A. You can see the room name here. We'll go ahead and join the room. And then what you can see is the background is red, and then there's a logo here. Maybe hard to see because it's, uh, it's also red, but this is the 8x8 logo. And then uh, I'm going to go ahead and test the next room. Go ahead and make sure we're connecting to, to uh, test underscore B. Reload the page. You can see we're now connecting to test underscore B. And then you can see the background has changed. So now it's blue and then we have the Google logo. And finally, if we change this to test underscore C, reload the changes, go ahead and load the page. You can see we're now connecting to the new room. 
and then you can see a very bright green background and then the Apple logo. So that's a quick view of how you can use advanced branding to customize the changes by, by Jazz room name. And this can also be applied by App ID as well.